think the I think the door's stuck. Then get it unstuck. I, I'm trying. Stop. Got it. Careful. Let's get this over with. Okay, open your eyes. It may not be perfect, but it's cozy. Not to mention, it's a good neighborhood to raise a family in. So what do you think? My mother was right about you, Billy. Is the television unpacked yet? Shh. This is the best part. I'm hungry. All right, I uh, guess I'll make some dinner. Do we have to listen to this racket while we eat? It's not racket, sweetie. It's, uh, it's Greg and the boys. Uh, just wondering what you thought of the place. You didn't answer me earlier. It's fine, Billy. But, uh, but what else? I, I didn't take all those extra shifts at the factory for you just to say it's fine. T tell me what you think. I, I mean, at least it's better than your parents' basement, right? Esther? It's okay, I, I just asked a question. Well, I, uh, I guess I'd better go light some candles. Yeah, I guess you'd better. That should do it. Yeah, I just finished up. Good. Now turn it off. But I just... Good night, Billy. Good night. I love you. No, no! Great. been all morning. Food shopping. But we have food here. If that's what you call what you made for dinner last night, then no, we don't. Well, we have plenty of other... My parents are coming for dinner tonight. But we just moved out of their basement. I know. They hate me. Did you hit a lot of traffic coming up? Uh, I'm sorry, one, one more time? One more time. Did you hit any traffic coming in? Esther, baby, what's he saying? 
Let's know how the ride was, Mom. Oh! Let's see, the ride was dreadful. It's like, we were in traffic for what seemed like years. Like, I'd rather eat a jellyfish than sit through traffic like that again. <sighs> I, know, I know the feeling. You know, it, it kind of reminded me, like, it was like being back at your wedding. <laughs> I thought the ceremony was pleasant, and, and the outcome was more than worth it. Yeah, if you like monogamy. It's hard to find this place. He started working extra hours at the factory, and only then could he afford the cheapest apartment in the city. Okay, so it has a few flaws. Flaws? Like, are, are you moving my little girl into swap witch's armpit? No, no, nothing like that. It's just- Then what? It's little things. The floor creaks, the shower's a little leaky, there's a hole in the wall. There's a hole in the wall? Yeah. Well, where is it? I, 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 I don't know. Uh, the landlord told me before we moved in. He said he was going to send someone next week to get it filled. <sighs> a ramshackle crap dump full of holes. Can't say I expected much more from you, Billy. Uh, you have a little a little sauce on, on your face. Hmm? You have some sauce on your face. Well, I'm sorry, what? You have some sauce on your face. Oh my god, what? You have sauce on your face. Oh my god, ask her, baby. What is he saying? What is he saying? You have food on your face. <laughs> oh my god, I'd forget my own tits if they weren't so firmly attached to my breastplate. James, help me out here. Come right here. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. Mom. James, we're in public. Oh, Billy, make yourself useful and get us some tea while you're up. checking to see if you could see through to the other side. And can you? Nope. Uh, I think something's blocking on the other end. Maybe a piece of furniture or something? Who lives over there? I, I don't know. Well, maybe you should go over there and tell them about the hole before they find it themselves and start to think that we're spying on them. I am! I mean, I will. Tell them about the hole and tell them to shut up. I kinda like it. Billy! Okay, fine. Don't forget to tell them about the hole. Yeah.
It was after that night that I started writing. There was something about the woman next door that lights a fire within me. Not in the way that Esther does, of course. What? Nothing. No, this is different. Is it simply the unknown that fuels this fascination? The fact that I am allowed only brief glimpses before the blockage whatever it may be, is moved between us? I've started keeping track of when the hole is unobstructed. So far, the only times that I have been able to pinpoint is 4 p.m. since Esther is busy watching her stories. She really does love to sit in that chair. She just does so for hours and hours. But I, I don't think I could ever do anything like that, and Esther would probably yell at me if I sat around that long. But the longer I watch, the longer she remains that way until... Until I look away. Yeah, hi, this is Esther from apartment 433. Yeah, uh, my husband Billy and I moved in a few weeks ago, and he told me that you were going to be coming in to check out a hole in the wall, and I uh, just wondered when you were going to come and do that. Yeah. I see. Who lives in the apartment next to us? On the left. One of the only things I've been able to discern about the woman next door is that we both enjoy similar music. I think she's using it to attempt to communicate. If this is the case, I will give her a response.
to start. next door is a spinster. A, sp a, spin a spinster! She lives alone. She gets her groceries delivered. If I had to guess, I'd say she's mentally ill. So why are you telling me this? The landlord has no memory of any holes or of you even asking to get any holes filled. Maybe you forgot? I'm going to stay with my parents for a few days. For how long? When I get back, I expect to have that hole filled or I'll do it myself. Esther's been gone for four days, which has left me to watch our neighbor in peace. And that's okay. She doesn't love me anyways. She does nothing but be rude to me. Me. Her husband. And what do I need that kind of attitude for anyway? Honestly, she can stay at her parents for as long as she wants. Me and the neighbor are just fine. I'm almost certain she's trying to communicate with me. I've been so tempted just to go knock on the door and introduce myself. But what if I'm wrong? I don't want to reveal myself as being spying on her. It just occurred to me that I haven't been to work in a few days. I don't think I have a job anymore. I wonder if she has a job. So I told Jacqueline that the answer to her issue is to just buy the biggest zucchini she can find, the biggest one, and just stink it. Just, just, just cut it up into tiny little bits, stew it, put it in a bowl, and then serve it to him cold. Maybe then he'll learn to appreciate her cooking. Um, Mom? Hey. I, I don't think zucchini stew is going to solve my marital problems. <laughs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> what was the problem again? I told you when I got here, I think Billy's thinking of cheating on me. <laughs> With who? You were the only one that would take him. <laughs> With the woman that lives next door, I, he, he's lied to me about getting the hole that sees through to her apartment fixed, and I don't know why else he would lie to me if he's not looking through it and fantasizing about her. What's on the other side? That's it. You can't see through to the other side because there's there's some piece of furniture on her end in the way. and I just... I can't believe you would lie to me about it. Well, why do you care? You only married him for the security, didn't you? I know, but... It's just... It's hard when someone dotes on you for as long as you can remember and then just suddenly becomes uninterested. I mean... I... I kind of miss it. And, and... And it makes me angry that he's doing it to someone else. I... Oh God, I think there's something there. Hmm. Well, sweetie, I know that I may not approve of him due to his complete incompetence at everything. But I think if you think he's worth it, you should fight for him. Thanks, Mom. Hmm. I remember when I first realized I truly loved your father. It was when I tried to leave him, and he tried to mate with my leg to get me to stay. <laughs> oh my. Come on, I'll drive you home. Let's go. Oh, thanks, Come on, James. 
Because the hole is covered up whenever I look away, if only for a second, I've been trying to train myself to write while not looking. And I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's just about 1.15, meaning that... Ah, right on time. She reminds me of a flower bending in the wind. Esther was never much of a dancer. I remember at her wedding, she kept stepping on my foot. Sometimes I think she did it on per- She does know I'm watching. that you may or may not be planning to be unfaithful to Esther involving some kind of hole in the wall. Is it? Is, does that sound familiar to you? No, no ma'am. <laughs> well, good. But regardless, if I ever even hear the slightest rumor that you planned on hurting one little hair on my Esther's head in any way possible. I'll fucking kill you, okay? Do you understand me? I will fucking end you. Y yeah, yeah, cr crystal clear. Well, good. <laughs> well, I haven't got to roll the window down for James. See you at Christmas! On a date? No, no, just... <clears throat> Excuse me. Did you do this? Billy, listen. I've been kind of an awful wife lately, haven't I? That's an, uh, an understatement. Being mean to you and calling you names, and you've been nothing but good to me. What are you doing? I do love you, Billy. And I want to make it up to you how awful I've been. When was the last time we made love? Uh, I don't think we ever have. Well, we should change that, shouldn't we? Esther, you do not love me! Of course I love you, Billy. No, you don't! You're just jealous of the girl next door. So I was right. I don't know. All I know is that the only reason why you're not treating me like trash right now is because you're afraid of losing me. Where are you going? I'm going next door. I'm going with someone who actually wants to be with me. Are you an idiot, Billy? You've never even met her. Well, maybe it's about time that we do meet. If you leave this apartment, don't even think about coming back!
Hi there. I, uh... I live next door. Nah. Hello, Willy. I've been watching you. Listen, this this was a mistake. I, I really need to go. 